G'day guys, welcome to ENR Beauty. My name is Tanya and this is my partner Daniel. Hi. And we're back today for another new makeup nonsense bingo video. Now, Dan and I have been doing these um, for the past, well, last year we did a couple of videos and we're back again this year to do them again. Hopefully we're going to do one every single month. I don't really want to do any more than that because to be honest with you, since the pandemic, the beauty releases have been pretty dismal, pretty boring. And you're going to see a lot of that reflected in my opinions. I have seen all the makeup products um, that we're going to be talking about today. We have 40. Mm. And so if I come off a little bit negative, I apologize. But like, ugh, some of these releases are just so mm. repetitive and boring and like, <clears throat> we need something. So anyway, this video was created by Emily Hanhan and other YouTubers such as Teresa is Dead and Audra at Home play along. And if you want to play along too, you can. I will put all the links down below for Emily Hanhan, Teresa is Dead and Audra at Home. You can go over to any one of their pages. You can grab the links, cards and the hashtags and you can play along as well. And I look forward to it. This is just a little bit of fun and we're going to talk about all the makeup releases in the last month or so and um, see if we can cross them off on our bingo card. We are using bingo card number three today and um, any time that we can cross something off on our bingo card, we are going to have a drink today. Yeah. Got to I get am, started already though. That's right. Today Cheers. I am having Maduri. And oh, okay. All right. Risky. Yep. <laughs> Daniel is having whiskey, bourbon. Whiskey. Yep. Mmm. Oh, that. Yes. Mm-hmm. That is good stuff. Yeah. So if you want to play along with this, stay tuned. Do it. All right, welcome back, guys, and we're going to get straight into it. Um, the first beauty release that we have come across is Coloured Rain. They have brought out a what is which, this? Which is uh, you know thirty eight on the bingo card. <laughs> yeah, that is the Wealthy Chick palette. So it's an all green palette, and. Um, it looks quite interesting, actually. It's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah it's a six-pan palette. I think they could have used eight shades, to be honest with you. I reckon, like, a really, really grungy yellow would have been, re like, grungier than the greeny yellow that you've got there. But I reckon, like, a real grungy yellow would have been really, really nice mm -hmm. there. And um, maybe something to blend it out with, like, um, like a really, really light sort of yellow or a light green or something mm -hmm. like that. Even, like, a... Um, dare I say, like a, a pale white or cream or something like that. I don't know. I, I feel that they can be useful in those sorts of palettes. Yeah, um, I have heard good things about Coloured Rain, so I reckon there probably wouldn't be a problem with that. It really does pop on her skin. I really do like that. And if I was going to buy a green palette, this would probably be right up my alley. Um, but like I said, it is missing a couple of shades that I would really like. Um, I've seen similar palettes with uh, Melt Cosmetics, okay. that, uh, one of their... I can't remember which um, one it was, but they brought out a palette. I think it was a Gemini palette, or could be the Smoke Sessions, that I really would prefer over something like this. But this is beautiful, and this sort of speaks to me if I was into that sort of colour mm. story. Um, I think it's beautiful. Yeah, the green reminds me of an old movie called Emerald Forest. Yeah. An 80s movie, so I'm showing my age here, <laughs> but a brilliant movie. Yeah, um, well, actually, this was just released yesterday as well, okay. so... Um, yeah, you can pick this up right now if you want to. I'm not sure where it's been released though, so <laughs> you'll have to have a look yourself. And um, let's see if we can actually put this on our bingo card anywhere. I reckon Drunk Me would definitely buy it. <laughs> um, I do like, because uh -huh. Drunk Me would go, ooh, that's pretty, I want it. Even though I know that I'm probably not going to wear it very often, mm -hmm. like once in a blue moon, I, I would buy it if I was drunk. Yeah, it's nice. Good yeah, so I reckon we're going to put that on our bingo card and have a drink, guys. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. That's a really good one. <laughs> Double go. Why not Saturday? Yeah. Indeed. Yay! All right, so the next number generated is number 12. 12. And we have Huda Beauty that is celebrating the year of the tiger. Um, she obviously, she's got a palette here and a lipstick that I can see. A tiger? Yeah, I mean... I think I've seen that tiger on a... Bad Teddy's website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm wondering whether, the, yeah, I'm just realising that this is a repackage obsession palette. So um, it's a re-release of a palette that she already had. She just changed packaging. Okay. Uh, don't quote me. I'm pretty sure. But I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. So I'm not going to go out and buy something just because they've changed the packaging. Yeah. If it wasn't good enough to get me to buy it before, the packaging is not going to change my mind. Um uh, you know what? I reckon we actually have a bingo card for this. I reckon it might be the same shit but different packaging. Let's have a look 
and see if we can cross this off. Do we have that somewhere? Yep. Bottom, middle. Yep. There we go. Yay! All right, there we go. And Oh, this cheers. is going to get real fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yep. That'll work. <laughs> yeah. All right. New number. And so the next number generated is number 32, and we have Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner. This is a Valentine's lip balm set. So okay. it's a set of three lip balms for Valentine's Day. Kind of looks cute. Um, teenage -y. Yeah, yeah, it does have that feel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty. I don't necessarily care too much about, like, Valentine releases and stuff like that, unless it's more high-end, like, um, Hourglass. I really do hope this year that Hourglass bring out some of their confession lipsticks, like they did. Um, I think they did it last year, but they definitely did it the year before. But this is, like, eh, um, I don't really need any more lip balms. I mean, this is cute, don't get me wrong, um, if the price is right. The, the packaging doesn't stand out uh, if if it was a good product and I suppose it would sell itself and I don't know. So. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I've never actually tried anything from Kylie Skin. Okay. Um, this is a vegan formula and the flavours or scents or whatever it is cherry, strawberry and candy heart, whatever the hell that is. Right. Although you're not know candy heart. Do you remember those necklaces that used to have like the love hearts on them and you can you can eat them? Maybe that's what they're talking about, candy heart, which Maybe. is just pretty much pure sugar, isn't it? Well, what isn't these days? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, you know, this is cute, but I personally wouldn't buy it myself. I don't need three uh, lip balms. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd probably buy this for a teenager for sure, uh, especially, as I said, if the price is right. But, um, yeah, it's kind of enough for me. Yeah, it's a $20 job. It'd be perfect for a teenage gift, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Even a... I mean, I know we just got through Christmas and mm. New Year, but even like a stocking stuffer or like to add it to a birthday yeah. present or something like that, this would be perfect for something like that. So yeah. you get a birthday in the end of January, early February, why not? Yeah, that's right. Um, let's see if we can cross this one off. More holiday bullshit. We'll cross that one off. Yay! Number one is I Heart Revolution. Um, and this is a clusterfuck of makeup. Um, I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I, I mean, if you're starting out with makeup and you don't really care about the brand and you just want a, a bit of everything, I guess, then then buy this shit. But for me, it's just like I'm looking at this and I'm like, what am I gonna pick? It's just it's too much for me. Like. There's all the colours there. Mm. And I mean, look how many different blushes there is to choose from. I'm like, which one? <laughs> mm. And I mean, they're very, very close. Um, a lot of those blushes are very, very close in tone. I don't yeah. know. I just That's just too much in one palette for me personally. I mean, just remember that if I don't like something, that doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, you can love something and it'll still be perfectly fine. But this is just not for me. Now, I forgot to mention that this is their Milan packaging. And um, I don't see Milan represented in this, to be honest with you. Like, I love that show. And I just don't see Milan represented in this palette. Um, I just no. don't. So, yeah, that's another bang, bang for me. Um but if you do want this, this is fifteen pounds or twenty eight Australian dollars or twenty dollars American. And um, when is this available? I'm not actually sure. It says here somewhere. No, oh, available it's available now. now. There yeah. you go. Go and get it if you want this. But um, that's a big pass for me. All right. Um, so, let's see if we can cross this off. Mm. Um. Yeah, I reckon we're going to put this one down as a true cash grab that because yeah. I don't personally think that this was very well thought out mm -hmm. and um, I find it offensive to Milan. <laughs> well, if, well, if they're going to use a name like Milan, yeah. build your creation to it. I know, mean, I don't, there's not, they could have even done some like pretty designs and put like Mushu, um, the dragon yeah. somewhere. like. That, that would have sold it. I, yeah. I love Mushu. Who doesn't love Mushu? I mean, I hope I'm saying I can't. Have oh, I got my that, dragons is wrong? Is the dragon in the... Maybe. Look, I can't really see, but if it is, it's a pretty piss poor job. So, um... <laughs> You'll disappear after one wipe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. But, um... Eh. Oh, uh, we're going to cross that off as a true cra crash. A true cash grab. And the alcohol is already getting to me, guys, and I haven't even got through one. So this could get interesting. Uh, Let's drink... Yay! That's really good. 
I know I said that pretty much every <laughs> mouthful. That's really good. <laughs> I'm not a drunk. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> all right. Let's move on to the next generated number, which is number 29. Number 29 is Lush. Now, Ooh. if you guys have watched some of my recent videos, you would have noticed that I've done a video on Lush. And secretly, FYI, I have been loving the products. Like, I, I love this brand. So when I saw this, I'm like, yes. <laughs> I wanted all the things. Look at that heart. Like, it's a jelly. It's like a, a soap, yeah. but in a gel form. So. <laughs> well, yeah, it's something that a parent can also, you know, use with their child as well. I mean, well, what kid doesn't love a bath bomb? That's exactly <laughs> right. So we have bath bombs here. Um, we have the eggplant emoji. Uh, <laughs> right, that's, that's oh, cute. Yeah. We have, <laughs> that's right, yeah. We have lobster, obviously, if you're going out for dinner. Um, <laughs> we have a car, uh, a beetle. I'm not sure why that represents um, romance, but whatever. The, the hippie era, you know, mm -hmm. the 60s. We have a, that looks like a lip mask. Um mm -hmm. This one here, the <laughs> yeah. and we have a carrot that looks like, uh, yeah. The yeah. legs are crossing. Yes. Uh, I don't know what any of these are. Okay, so we have the... Is that cake? Yeah, we have the, uh, what have we got? I can resist everything temptation shower gel. Don't know what that smells like, but, but that looks interesting. Um, the bath bomb eggplant is a citrusy floral scent. The bath bomb love bug is a citrusy sweet scent. The bath bomb Mr. Lobba Lobba. <laughs> Mr. Lobba Lobba. Yeah. Mr. Lobba Lobba. Mm, I'm Mr. Lobba Lobba. Uh, girl. <laughs> um, that is a sweet scent. The shower jelly is a strawberry heart. Well, typical. You mm. would expect that. Um, and the soap new rose uh, is floral. So, oh, and the bubble bar, um, Kim the carrot. <laughs> okay. okay. Is a ginger root and vanilla and warm, sweet bubble bath scent. And the lip mask and scrub hot lips taste like sweet cherries. That was a freaking mouthful. Anyway, this is cute. I like this. Um, yeah, I would, if I was going to buy anything, I would definitely, uh, because I know that I like them, I would get the um, body wash. Mm. Um, I would definitely get the bath bombs because our son would absolutely love that. And I've not tried any of the other products, but that heart looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's not your typical sort of, it's actually more what a heart looks like than yeah. the typical cartoon yep. heart. And, yeah. Problem is, is, I've heard really good and bad things about their shower yeah. jelly, so it makes me a little nervous. And um, But it looks like fun. Yeah, 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 and it's seven ninety five, so it's not like it's a real big, yeah. you know, loss if you don't like it. So, anyway, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I reckon we might be able to find somewhere on our um, card to cross this off. I hope so because I'm a little thirsty again. So let's have a look. Um, of course, I'm buying it. <laughs> All right, mm. well, that'll work. Yeah, I mean, too bad I can't say I've already brought it, <laughs> but of course I'm buying it. It's gorgeous. Why wouldn't I? Yay! So the next number we have is number 24, and that is Makeup by Mario. This is the new Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. So this is a coloured lip serum. So like a... Hmm. Clumping lip serum? Plumping. Plumping. Did I say oh, plumping? I thought you said clumping. <laughs> I thought that's exactly the opposite of what you want makeup to do. <laughs> <laughs> what was that laugh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, uh, Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. So I think that this might have something in it that gives your lips that tingling, maybe peppermint oil or something like okay. that. It gives your lips that sort of plumping sort of thing. And it's coloured as well. Um, it looks very subtle on darker skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of the shades could be quite... Um, in fact, if they weren't glossy, yeah. you'd have trouble seeing them at all. Yeah, 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 that's right. Um, Look, I'm not really a fan of glossy sort of lipsticks, nor am I a fan of plumping um, mm. lipsticks, lip balms, anything like that. I don't like my lips to be stinging. And, I mean, who doesn't love plump lips? But come on, <laughs> I mean, you're not going to plump up these things. They're shriveled prunes, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> but it is what it is. Look, it's pretty, and I think there's definitely a market for it. And I do want to try some um, makeup by Mario. I haven't tried anything from them yet, yeah. but um, it looks okay and it looks interesting. Um, it's not boring. 
Mm. I don't think. I mean, I think that they could come out with a hell of a lot more shades than what they have. That's mm. pretty dismal, but they might be putting their um, toe in the water and seeing if anyone's sort of interested in this before they release any more shades. So yeah. um, we have, what do we have? We have Rose Glow, which is a rosy pink. We have Bear Glow, which is a light nude pink. We have Apricot Glow, which is a warm peach. Bronze Glow, which is a warm bronzy brown. Uh, Mo Mauve Glow, which is... A mauve nude, mocha glow, which is a cool cocoa brown, and plum glow, which is a soft plumberry. Plumberry. Plum well, I've never heard of that before, but okay. And there you go. And um, um, they're twenty two dollars each. So each. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm. Um, that's not really too bad. I mm -hmm. mean, lips. Dicks or lip, I don't know. What do you want to call it? <laughs> lip serum? I don't know. Um, I've not really tried one. I mean, you can pay $100 for a lipstick, to be honest with you. Uh, not for me, but, you know, <laughs> um, I okay. think it's okay. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to cross this off anywhere, but let's have a little look. Yeah, no, there is, we can't drink to this one. Oh, well, let us down. There's that. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh. All right, so the next number is number 13, and we have Colourpop. And I'm surprised we haven't had more Colourpop because they are still pumping out just as much bullshit despite the pandemic. Um, <laughs> and that's more of a cartoony tiger, but I kind of like it more than the other one. Yeah, you know, yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, look, they are they are good with their packaging. So yeah. this is their um, take on the celebration of the Lunar New Year um, for the tiger, uh, Year of the Tiger. And what do we even have? So... We have an eyeshadow quad, we have a glossy lip stain, a, a fresh kiss lip cream and a fresh kiss lip lacquer and a shimmering body powder and a mini body milk. <laughs> um, it's very cutesy. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very cutesy. That's, that's all I want to say. I, uh, I mean that, that, that four pan palette looks okay if you're into that sort of color story. Mm. It's small, you can put it in your bag. I mean, I can't fault that. But, you know, you get to a point with Colourpop where you see so much being pumped out that everything that comes out kind of looks like the last thing that they pumped out. <laughs> so, yeah, the, it's hard to be excited with Colourpop because we've just, it's like a repeat. Um, well, the, the, the body milk in a miniature milk bottle, uh, nice. Yeah, nice effect, I mean, I like, there's, there's no doubt in my mind. It's mm. cute. Mm. It's cute. But I just don't need it. Um I've got a massive ColourPop palette, and I've used it once. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah. I mean, of course this is better because there's only four pans, and it's not confusing, and I could do an eye look with that, just like that. No thinking. Just boom, mm. boom, boom. I know exactly where everything's going to go. <sighs> but guess what? We are going to be able to drink with this one. I know there is a spot for ColourPop somewhere on this card. Okay. Yay! The next number is number 16, and this is two Morphe palettes. So okay. we have two nine pan palettes. Oh, I know that nine. Yeah. <laughs> one of them is 9Z, and or Z, whatever, and the other one is 9B. I have had two nine pan palettes before, and they were quite okay. I did hand them down after a while, though, because I found better things. Mm -hmm. I haven't brought Morphe since, so... But, um, look, these, these are okay. If you have a look at the swatches, they look pretty cute. Um, I think... They look great on uh, either any tone skin too. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, and I really do love this um, this color here, the recharge. Uh, I okay, think that yeah. yeah, I really like that. But I don't know how well that. I mean, I know the swatches look fine, but you can't judge anything by a swatch. Yeah. When they go on the eyes, purple is notoriously difficult to um, formulate. So okay. sometimes mm, you put it on as either patchy or you just don't get any color and. Mm. Yeah, it's got to be good. It's got to be a good formula, and I I don't think Morphe have it in the formula department for purples, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, so for me, I wouldn't buy this, um, but I think I think it, it will be popular for some people. Okay. And um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to cross this one off. Another rainbow palette, maybe, if we had the, mm. both of them merge, but yeah. Yeah, I reckon we're reaching there, aren't That's we? That's what I mean. Yeah, and I mean an oversized Morphe palette, but this time it's not an oversized Morphe palette, so yeah. we can't even do that. Uh, we're going to have to pass. Down. Yeah, yeah. boo. <laughs> Aww. All right, let's move on to another number, shall we? We're going to move on to number three, um, which is really fucking boring. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
All right, so we have number three, three, and that is ALF Cosmetics, and they have launched their Camo Powder Foundation. Camo? C-A-M-O? Hmm. Camo. If they're going for camouflage, that's not what I would have expected. I don't know, but it's really yeah. fucking boring. But, I mean, it's it's foundation, you know? Um, powder foundation. It's not for me. Um, I'm a crusty, dusty mummy. So, you know, <laughs> powder foundations. Um, I don't want to look like a mummy's dick. So, <laughs> I need something. Wow. Um, <laughs> I need something a little bit more dewy. Um, and I, I stay the hell away from powders. Um, obviously, if you've got a combination or oily skin, this might be right up your alley. I don't know how many shades this is. Does it say? Hmm. It says that it's primer infused, so that's something. It looks like um, maybe about 15. Yeah. yeah uh, it's $11 US. Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, 30 shades. So, well, okay, there you go. Um, let's just hope that those shades are um, uh, fairly shared out between all the skin mm. tones. But, um, yeah, that looks okay, but it's definitely not for me. Um, so I find this very, very boring because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, the, even the packaging kind of looks like really dismal, but I mean, then again, it is, it, it is foundation. What am I expecting? So, Just um, basic round compact with a mirror. Mm, the only thing that I want to say about this is that it does say that it gives an airbrushed finished and that I would be looking for something like that, but I just don't think that I can personally get away with it with my, um, skin type. So... Yeah, and it's buildable coverage. So, look, it's saying all the right things. Um, so maybe check it out if you have uh, skin that can tolerate a powder foundation. Mm -hmm. But not me. <laughs> so let's see if we can cross this bad boy off. Um, you know, we've got foundation again. I know we haven't seen any foundations yeah. on today's video, but we are going to cross that off because I want a freaking drink. So oh, foundation we, again. Well, there were 30 of them, so. Well, yeah. yeah, I suppose. Definitely reaching again, but we are crossing that off so we can have another drink. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna fill up again. Top up time. I'll get another number while we're waiting. Alright, so number 26 is our next number, and we have a brand called Live or Live. I'm not actually sure. I'd say Live. Um, and they are bringing out a cooling water based solid balm to serum stick powdered, powered with niacinamide bat. Chul and THD vitamin C. Bacachoy? Mm. Baca We're going to leave that Baca up here. Baca and you guys mm. can figure out what it is. Um, it helps fight the same... It helps fight signs of dark spots, hyperpigmentation while helping... This, helping... Um, <laughs> I think I'm getting tipsy. We can, you can get hyperpigmentation, that word that's about that long. I know! Okay, the bellicitor... So, oh. it helps... Fight signs of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. <laughs> Fuck! It helps. Fa wait. <laughs> oh, I've done it now. Oh. <laughs> it whew, effectively fades the signs of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, while helping soothe the look of fine lines and wrinkles. It is thirty-four dollars, and you apply it after a toner and before a moisturizer. So it is a serum in a stick form. Um, a lot of people use their serums, they put a dropper and they squirt it on their face. You've seen me do it in my hand, yeah. rub it in. This is a stick. Now, this is going to cause some controversy because people are going to be like, I oh, can't sanitize that. And then other people are going to be like, yeah, but it's going on my clean face. Hmm. I don't know. Look, I, I get a love-hate here because I agree. I don't have acne or anything like that. I rarely get any um, flare-ups like that. My eczema is pretty good. I don't have any cracks in my skin. Um, so I would feel comfortable after I've washed my face using something like this, mm -hmm. um, purely for myself. Uh, I like the idea that there's a serum in a solid stick form, so I'm not getting my hands crappy, and, mm. and you know, I like I like this idea. Um, I don't necessarily need a niacinamide. Um, I have some of that in my routine already. I mean, I could swap it out. It's got vitamin C as well. That is something that I've been wanting to incorporate into my routine, but I don't know if I'm going to do it in this kind of form. But yeah. I do like this. I think and, this is interesting. And most people don't share their makeup anyway, do they? No, yeah, so no. I mean, sisters yeah. might, friends uh, might. I don't know, really. I don't. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think th this is the sort of stuff that I want to see. Like, I want to see new and interesting things. I mean, I'm not saying that a serum-based stick hasn't been done before, but I like this. 
Um, I've never heard of the brand, and thirty-four dollars, I'd say, is a pretty fair deal um, for a solid serum stick. Yeah. Um, maybe a little bit higher end in when we're talking about brands like the Ordinary, when you can get like something for between nine and nineteen dollars. Okay. Um, but I think for the convenience um, and the fact that it's got the um, niacinamide and the vitamin C and that other thing, whatever that is. <laughs> um, yeah, I reckon this is probably a good deal. And if you can get past rubbing a stick all over your face, then we're laughing. Mm, sweet. Can we cross it off, though? Let's have a little looky. Uh, hang on. The Cuccio. Look at The Cuccio. There you go. Well, that's what Kevin's liking. Yeah, well, I don't... Yeah, probably. I'm, I've got blurry eyes, so <laughs> I have no idea. All right, let's have a little looky, even more skincare. Let's see if we can... If it means yeah. we're... Well, another drink, then yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is skincare, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yay! Sweet. Innovative skincare, too. Mm. Mm. I really do think I drank that first one a little too fast because <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm feeling a little woozy, here, man. <laughs> I'm feeling a little woozy, yeah. All right, so the next number generated is going to be. Um, nine. This is Clinique and they have launched their annual cheek pop highlighter for the Lunar New Year. This is cutie. Um, looks like a cross between a tiger and a panda with those eyes. Yes. It definitely looks yeah. like a tiger cross something. Yeah. Yeah, same here, but I'm not going to say. Yeah. Nah. Uh, anywho, I, look, this is cute. Um, this is cute. I don't need another highlighter, um, but I could see somebody wanting to pick this up. Yeah. Eh. Um, cool. Anyway, what can we say about it? It is... Uh, it has a golden glow that looks visibly powderless and gives a sheer colour payoff that can easily be built up or down. But it is a limited edition, so if you want this, you better hurry up, otherwise you're going to miss out. Let's see if we can cross this off. Hmm. Oh. Yes, give us nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but there's really nothing wrong with it. Like, I don't want to shit on it when there's really nothing wrong with it. Mm, no. Pretty embossing. Uh, Basic makeup. I mean, it is uh, just a highlighter. We, we can leave it. We All right. Leave it. All right. Let's move on then. Aww. All right. So, next number is number 31, and this is the Essence Catching Clouds collection so okay. we have a hydrating milky face mist a swirl lip balm a mix and match pearl stickers inner eye brightening pen cloud touch highlighter cloud touch mousse primer and a cloud touch body luminizer mm. we can get elf in australia that's fantastic in fact one of my favorite mascaras is from elf uh, did i say elf essence essence we can get Essence in Australia. Um, one of my favourite mascaras is from Essence, and um, I don't know how to really buy much else. Like, I really, 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 really like a lot of their mascaras. Um, it shits all over a lot of the high end brands, but that's for the rest of their makeup. But I'm just kind of like, eh. Um, this is kind of cute. Also, it kind of gives me ColourPop vibes as well. You know, you've got the Milky Serum and, you know, a lot of that sort of cutesy childish kind of stuff mm. um yeah almost, i mean almost like a motel sample you know yeah you know, i mean stuff. i no offense but i can see this in a two dollar shop you know <laughs> yeah. the reject shop yeah. um yeah it's just it's very very basic it's very very childlike and not, not that there's anything wrong with that but it just doesn't dry like i don't go oh i've got to have that so um and you know i do think that's important as well so mm. yeah uh anyway um let's see if we can cross this off uh, I don't think we can though. We're going to say yes, give us nothing because there's nothing about that that I actually want. And to be honest with you, it, it, it is very repetitive. Personally, no shade for essence. You do you, but mm, not for me. No. Nope. Nope. Yay! All right, number thirty-three is KVD. Once called Kat Von D. Uh, now... Cannot fuck, see. No, <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck it's called now. They keep changing their name. So we're just going to keep it as KVD mm -hmm. Beauty. 
Right, so this is their Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. It is extremely long wear, crease resistant, and super hydrating, lightweight, full coverage. It is so. well concealed because I can barely see it. Yeah, mm. um, it's cute. Like it's it's uh, yeah, it's just the picture they've got. The picture, yeah, they'll be up on the screen <laughs> anyway. So um, look, it's okay. It's obviously another concealer. Um, I have heard good things about their base products, their concealers okay. and their foundations. Um, but obviously with all the controversy around Kat Von D and then the, the takeover, um, I just sort of haven't deep dived into KVD. They don't typically bring out anything that I just have to have now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, cool, but... Mm, mm. I mean, at least their packaging is cute. From what I can see, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks luxury. It looks a little bit gothic, which is... A little different, Yeah. yeah. So, um, hmm. Anywho, I think it has some sort of special applicator. Yeah, the applicator also mimics your fingertip for precision and a soft touch feel. Oh, there you go. Someone in the marketing department got their money's worth out of them. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can cross it off. Uh, da -dum -dum -dum. Nope. No. Nah. Nope. We're right. going to move on. <laughs> Bugger. Aww. Alright, so the next number generated is number 34, and this is Lights Lacquer. They have released their Tortoise set. This is nail polish, and they have named them after Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> okay. So we have Donatello, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael, and I'm sorry, but I can't see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles connecting to this at all. At all. I mean, even even the red there is not the right shade of red for Michelangelo. Like purple, red, blue and orange or something? Yeah. yeah. Look, look at these colours. I mean, where, where's the white come from? Uh, the cream. Who's that? Like... Mm. <laughs> yeah. And the brown? I mean... It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, <laughs> but like if you... Why? Like Master Splinter? Uh, <laughs> but, but it's not marketed as that. Uh, this seems like time for your favourite word again. Clusterfuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, sorry, look, if you're going to market something, especially for like us 80s kids, you know, something like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, do a good job of it, this sucks. Um, this is not even exciting, like for me, this is not exciting. Uh, nail polish, this is like definitely the most boring shades that I've seen. Um, for me, I guess it's work friendly, but you know, snore. Um, mm, I'm definitely not going to buy this, so <laughs> let's see if we can cross this off. Anywhere? A product that's a catfish, yes. Yes. Yeah, it looks Absolutely. nothing like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> it looks nothing like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I am gypsy. All right. You might have to rig these for next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so much more fun, isn't it? Right, kick you up can, off the floor again. Well, I can barely see. <laughs> I think it's all the bright lights. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we'll just keep it with that. We'll it's time to drink. It is? It is. Oh, you've got nothing left. Oh, there we go. I'll have a few drinks for him while we wait. Yep, there we go. Oh, I've got enough. Mmm. <laughs> Fucking turtles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I did say that you might hear me be a little bit brutal. Um, mm. I mean, that could have been awesome. Could you imagine, like, if they brought out a green, but they had some sort of, like, pearlescent sort of shine mm. to it like a real like <clears throat> i don't even know how to explain it but real sparkly not like chunks of glitter but like mm. real sort of sparkly they could have done a really really good job of that i mean <sighs> yeah yay Anywho, we are going to generate another number so we can shit on another product <laughs> All right, so the next number generated is number five, and once again Ooh. we have ColourPop. So this is a Crocodile super, <laughs> super shock shadows that we wanted brought back. Apparently, these are shades that people have begged ColourPop to bring back, and yeah, I can see why. Some of these look absolutely gorgeous. Like right up my alley, I would say would be Pug Life, this purple one here. I can see Tankini. Oh, and Moodwalk. 
and on set. That is gorgeous. Yes, I do really like this on set colour though here. That yeah. is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I absolutely love that. I love that colour. Um, yeah, look, I mean, it's cute. Um, I don't need any more ColourPop stuff though. And these, I, I find they dry out really, really easily, mm -hmm. which is why I don't buy them. But cute shades and... Um, Good job, Colourpop, for listening to the people and bringing out something that they actually wanted you to bring out. Nope. We have to move on. Aww. Well, number 18. Dan and I are going to have to agree to disagree. This is the Cherry Blossom Perfume. I think it's by Guerlain. Daniel thinks it's by... Guerlain? Guerlain? Who freaking knows? It's French. So, whatever. Let's just talk about the packaging for a minute. It is very, very prissy. Um, it's cute. How much is it? Does it actually say? I can't see. Hmm. I don't think they've actually put anything there. It is um, available in February. Now, one thing I will say is I absolutely love Japanese cherry blossom. Hmm. It's fabulous. I love it. I want to bathe in it. <laughs> Bury me with it. Um, this packaging, give or take, though, for me. Um, is that a dropper? I'm not kind of... I don't know how this is delivered. Let's see if it says anything. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually say, I don't think. I've got a hair in my mouth. No, you've got hmm. three, or f three or four lines that describe the bottle. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> the packaging. <laughs> Look, it's, it's pretty, and I like Japanese cherry blossom. Um, I can't see the price. I can't tell you the price. Uh, would I buy it? Probably not, um, because, you know, I can get Japanese cherry blossom almost in everything now, including our fabric softener that we currently have. So, mm. um, but look, it's cute. If I, if I didn't have a million and one perfumes, I might consider it. Um, mm. But I kind of like that scent, sort of like on my clothes and my linen and that sort of stuff. Um, mm. And my perfumes, I like it to be a little bit more, I don't know, citrusy, um, woody, I don't know. But it's cute. Mm. And I can see it being very, very popular. I wish I knew how much it was. Um, you out next month sometime? Hmm. So, I don't know. Google it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can cross this off. I don't think that we will be able to. Nope. Mm. There you go. We are going to have to move on. Aww. Alright, so the next number generated is number eight, and this is Too Faced. They have launched their Too Femme collection, and... Um, I have a feeling that we've already spoken about this before, and I did not like it. Um, mm. As we've said in previous videos, Too Faced is one of those brands where it's either marketed to like hot, frustrated mums mm. or um, children. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> this is really childlike. I mean, look, it's the better than sex mascara, but it's got fucking butterflies on it. So, like, who are we aiming this shit for? Mm. Because I'm not going to buy better than sex mascara for my 10 year old um i mean yeah okay i'm not saying that adults can't like butterflies but this is really childlike the palette even i mean look at it mm. it's just, i don't know it's not for me mm. um i just wish they'd make up their mind yeah like pick a side mm. um anyway the eyeshadow palette is 45 american dollars the butterfly blush is 30 american dollars the hardcore lipstick is 22 american dollars and the better than sex Mascara waterproof one is 27 American dollars and it's available now at Too Faced. You know what? Let's have a look at this. There is quite a few different colors there and I wouldn't necessarily say that it is a cohesive rainbow palette, but I think there is enough colors there. I mean... I'm going to go the rainbow. The rainbow one, yeah? Yeah, yeah. go the rainbow. Yay! Hmm. <laughs> hmm. And then we're going to move on. Alright, so the next number generated is number 28, and this is a release from Fenty Beauty. This is another shade of their Gloss Bomb. Um, this is Lemon Lava, or Heat Shade. Wait, what? It looks like I want to eat it. They do taste good. Yeah. Alright, so I have one, um, <laughs> not in this shade. Uh, okay. I, I don't like this shade. I've seen this swatched on um, multiple skin tones, and okay. I don't personally like this one. Um, but, you know, I mean... That's personal choice. I love the formula of these. I have one. I can't remember which shade I have. It's a pinky kind of one, and mm. it looks like glass on the lips. Like, mm. I don't normally go for that, but I love these, and if you like that shade, go for it, guys, because, yeah, it's beautiful. It is $24, and um, woo, it'll be available, well, it's available now. Yeah, January yeah. 4th at 14th it came out on. 
So, um, yeah, fantastic. Go get yourself some. Let's see if we can cross this off, though. Do -do -do -do. Well, sort of. I've already bought it. Well, yeah, I mean, theoretically, I just don't have that shade. So, you know, we're going to yeah. do that anyway. Yeah. So, already brought it. Cross well, off. Well, I'll that one. <laughs> Yay! Mm. Well, if I drink too much more, you will be picking my ass up off the floor. There's that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next number generated is number 37, and this is a collection. Actually, it's a collaboration between Pixie Beauty and Hello Kitty. Okay. So, obviously, Hello Kitty is very, very popular in Japan, mm -hmm. but also, I mean, everywhere else, of course. It is very childlike, but by the looks of this, they've just said let's put freaking hello kitty on everything we possibly can <laughs> let's let's slap it on an eyeshadow palette let's stick it on some eye gels you know why not a lip toner is it a lip toner or a lip fucking something what is all of this an anywhere patch powder um an eye pencil <laughs> yeah i mean yeah wow yeah. uh sheet mask vitamin it's a like, vitamin c it's like a show bag isn't it yeah <laughs> i mean yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow sorry but this is a hard pass i mean don't get me wrong give it credit it's cute um it's just it's just a lot yeah too much yeah um yeah um, whatevs let's see if we can cross this shit off all right so um hmm i reckon we're gonna go with the bundle deal that no one wants Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, I know I can't talk for you, but I don't want this shit. So, mm -hmm. a bundle deal that no one wants, you know. We well, well, it's been good for us, not anyone else. <laughs> That's yeah. right. We are so close to being able to finish this game two ways. Um, mm. Yay! Oof. Anywho, let's move on to the next number generated. No, 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 no. We must drink for that one. Yes. My bad. How yep. could I forget something like that, Hmm. Eh? Hmm. All right, all right. So this is an Edda perfume by YSL, and now this looks kind of sexy. I like. Um, yeah. now I'm um, excuse me, but I don't know whether this is uh, for male or female. If it was, if it could go both ways, but let's just have a little bit of a read. It says that it features a signature chord of black coffee twisted with luscious, juicy green mandarin. Uh, mandarin. Mandarin, yeah. And creamy fig. Okay. Well, it, it looks like a, a bloke's packaging. You know? Yeah. I, I mean, it's cute. It's cute. I would buy this just because. Mm. Um, I want to smell it. This is available on January the 25th. Where are we on? 22nd or 23rd? Uh, it'll be next week. <laughs> next week. <laughs> Anywho, um, yes. I like the green. I think... See, mm. it's the packaging. The packaging is pulling me. I, yeah. I haven't even... Black coffee, I mean, okay, <laughs> but like green mandarin and fig with coffee, I don't know what that smells like. Fig can smell nice. I'm not a fan of fig to eat, but they can mm. smell nice. A little yeah. bit sweet. Mm. Mm. With the coffee can be a little... Mm. I don't know. I don't know, but I'd like to smell Might be it. Unique. Yeah, mm. yeah, definitely something different. Definitely, It's exciting, mm. I think. Anywho, um, this is expensive. No, one ounce for one $78. Ounce. Dollars. Okay. A third ounce for 30, hmm. or a two and a half ounce, 115. There you go. So probably there five dollars you US. You know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is cute. Let's see if we can cross this off anywhere. I'd buy this if I could. Hmm. Um, probably can't, but Whoa. you know. Oh, although it's Sephora, so if it comes out in a Sephora Australia, we're fine. But if it doesn't, I can't get this sent over because hmm. they don't like to post perfumes in the mail. Um, we can't cross it off. Unfortunately. Alright. Aww. We're struggling. We may end up going through all 40. Mmm. Uh, we might not even get bingo. <laughs> Alright, so the next number is number two, and this is BH Cosmetics. They are what? Another one? Zodiac Collection. <laughs> what the fuck? So BH Cosmetics have already done a Zodiac palette collection. So okay. I, I don't understand. Was it? I'm sure it was. I'm pretty sure it was. I brought it. Mm. Hmm. This is crap. 
<laughs> I don't like this. Like, I, I might be getting my brands confused. I'll leave a picture up here if I am not. But um, this, I don't like this. Like, there's so many blues. What the hell? Oh, it's for Aquarius. Well, that probably makes sense. Uh, but still... Ain't nobody got time for that! This one's a hard pass for me. I don't like this at all. Um, and actually, Aquarius might be the only one that they might bring out. I have heard a rumour floating around on Instagram that BH Cosmetics is closing. Oh, okay. Um, whether it's because of the pandemic or whether it's because they pump out too much shit like this, who knows? I don't even know if it's true, so don't quote me on it. Nope. But um, I saw it from Makeup Someone. Makeup Craze? I don't know. I'll put a picture up here um, about the post. And um, But, yeah, I don't like this. Um, I did like their first palette. If it was BH, I'm sure it was. Um, I loved that thing. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. But, yeah, if it's a repeat, I mean, but individual, no. No. <laughs> Let me cross it off. I hope so. Um, well, they copycatted themselves. Copycat vibes. I mean, yeah. it's they're not the only ones to do a Zodiac palette. And if it was them, then they've already done a Zodiac palette. I mean, yeah. We are major copycat vibes. We're crossing this one off. It doesn't get us any closer to bingo, unfortunately. No. But it does get us one step closer to having another drink. So. Indeed. Yay! The <laughs> next number we generated is number seven. And this is Ace Beauty. Or Ace Beauty, uh, Ace Beauty. This is their floral vintage palette. It's very um, autumnish for me. Uh, I mean, for a floral palette, I would have I would have preferred to see a lot more bright pops. Mm -hmm. I can see this. Um, I can see this being a winter or an autumn palette. To be honest with you. Um, Nothing bright and flashy in this. No, this yeah. is not for me. I mean, this is cute. I can see a lot of people using this, but this is not my palette. It's too big. Um, I would, I'd probably only utilise two or three shades. I'd probably end up repeating the same look over and over. Um, yeah, I mean, it's $49. You can get it from Ace Beauté. Um, $49 American. And it's just not for me. Um, as I said, there's 24 shadows there. It's just too much for me. I prefer... You know, a um, an eight to I don't know twelve pan palette personally, mm. maybe even smaller than that. Um, but yeah, mm. this is just not for me, and I absolutely hate the outside packaging. So <laughs> it's granny kind of yeah. vibes for me. Let's see if we can cross this off. Um, this is a pretty basic looking palette, so I reckon we can probably um, cross this off somewhere, like a total and palette. I have bubbles. <laughs> a total and palette. We are definitely going to cross that off yeah. and we are going to have another drink. I'm All not right. sure how much more I can. <laughs> Yay! Alright, so the next number generated is number 23 and Beauty Blender have come out with yet another style of their Beauty Blender. This one, um, you can tell when it's wet. So, okay. um, a lot of us now use blenders when we're doing our makeup, especially those who um, like seamless sort of um, looks or um, have dry skin. This is like yeah. really, really good. Okay. Um, but these guys are a little bit, uh, I guess, overpriced. You can get cheaper um, sponges. They're cute. Um, mm. They do work. This is a bit gimmicky, obviously. Um, it is called the what? The Beam Shade Shifter. It mm. is a sunny yellow to mellow tangerine when soaked in warm water. The sponge buffs and blends makeup into the skin for the ultimate flawless finish. Yeah, 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 we already know. Um, yeah, okay, cool. I mean, obviously, to be able to keep the... Um, people are going to keep on buying it anyway because of what it is, but yeah, I don't really care about this, mm. you know? Like, I'm not going to... I know if my sponge is wet. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, cool. Whatevs. Let's see if we can cross it off. But you know what? I'm going to be really bitchy here. It's also going to give us bingo. Yeah. But I'm going to put this down as a product that won't die. Because I've had enough of seeing all the different types of beauty blenders they can release. Mm. Um, and so I reckon we are going to cross that off and we are going to call this bingo. All right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, goodness me. Well, yeah, you're definitely on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Yay! Ooh, that's a bingo! <laughs>
Mm. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed um, sitting here talking to us about all the new beauty releases. I think we 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 got through quite a lot of them. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you want to join in, I like I said, we'll leave everything down below. You can go to probably go to Emily Hanhan's page. She uh, always has the cards and the. Um, the hashtags and everything that you need to be able to play um, in her drop down and we really do hope that you will join us in future videos mm. this is just a little bit of fun and uh, we get to talk shit about makeup and um, yeah. I really do hope that you join us in our next video and um, hmm, we'll yeah. catch you in the next one right here. Please. bye <laughs>